Hey what's up guys this is Rajesh and you are watching Input Output Campus. So today in this video we will discuss about how to create unique IDs while mapping data in a component. Okay. So before starting the video make sure you have subscribed to Input Output Campus YouTube channel and also press the bell icon and select this all. Because when I will upload a new video, you will get the notification first. You can also help Input Output Campus by donate through this UFI ID or by scanning this QR code. Okay friends, so in the last video, we have show the React fragment in React.js. So that was very basic. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start the video. So first of all, here we have this app component and inside this component, we have some text. So we'll remove this text and here will be, okay. And then inside this component folder, we'll create a file. We'll create a component and the name of the component is user list. Okay, user list dot js and write the basic syntax of React functional component by typing here R A F C E and press enter and you can see the basic structure is ready for this user list component just save it and now we want some data so let's create some data here so const users and in this users array so in this users array of object so this is area of object and here will be name and name is suppose Rajesh one and give here city city is Delhi and copy this and paste it here and we'll change this name suppose Rajas 2 and the city is suppose Mumbai. Similarly, we'll paste it again and here Rajas 3 and city is suppose Kolkata. Again, we'll paste it here and give it Hyderabad. Okay, and save it. So our data is ready. Now we'll map this data. So all the data are in this users. Okay, so we'll map these users so users dot map and inside this map function there will be a fed arrow function okay and here will be user and an index okay and we'll show every user inside s2 tag and here will be user dot user dot name and inside paragraph tag there will be user dot and this is showing error because we have to wrap these two okay to wrap this just give a div here and save it okay so now our user list is ready so just import this user list here in this app component so to import this just write here user list and this will be import okay just save it and go to the browser and you can see here nothing is showing here so what's the problem okay we have to return here okay we have not write here return okay to return it just write here return and then give a bracket here close the bracket here okay and save it and you can see this compile successfully okay if you go to the browser you can you can see here the output with the name and city so rajas one two three four and delhi mumbai kolkata hyderabad okay but still there is some problem so what's the problem if you go to the console you can see here there is some warning that each child in a list should have a unique key prop so you have to give some unique key prop and we can use index here but this is not recommended so we can give the key as index here and you can see after refreshing you can see the warning has gone but this is not recommended because while you will do some card operation 
you will do edit add delete these types of operations with your user list then you will face some difficulties while you will use this index so we'll use some unique id so that unique id will be always unique for user okay so for that what you can do so first of all let's remove it and go to the browser and here search uuid we'll use this uuid this uuid will provide us a unique key for every user like this types of key okay you can see here like this so first of all we have to install it so we can install it in windows by copy this command npm i u u i d okay so let's copy it from here and go to the code and click here and then parcel and then paste the command here in pm i u u i d and press enter you can see here this is installed successfully now you can delete this parcel from here and now if you want to check if this is installed or not go to this package.json and here inside these dependencies you can see the package uuid has successfully installed with its version 9.0.0 okay so now how we'll use this in our project so it's very simple to use uuid you can see here we have installed it by using npm install uuid and then we can use it by importing v4 as uuid v4 from uuid okay just copy it from here and then come to your project and import it here now this is important now you can use this anywhere in your project so we'll use it as our unique id or unique key so for that write here this key and we'll give this here okay and if you save it and if you go to the browser and uh, refresh it you can see there is no warning and for every user a uh, unique id is created so how you'll check what types of id it is created so just console it so to console it just console lock this give here uuid and save it and if you go to the browser and you can see every time a new key is created okay so just uh, remove this and and we can uh, remove this from here and we can give your id for each user like id is equals to this and copy this from here paste it here paste it here and paste it here now we can use the key as user dot id and we can also print it like if we want we can print it here like user dot id okay if you save it and go to the browser and refresh it you can see for each user there is name and city and a unique id is generated so this id is always unique for every items okay so there is no chance of duplication of this id okay friends so in this way we can create unique ids while we'll mapping the data in a component okay so in the next video we'll see a nested mapping okay friends so thank you for watching this video so if you find this video helpful then please like the video and share it with your friends so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care